Welcome back, everybody. So, a few days ago, you probably heard the news, Gaijin has decided to optimize the German tree, which really means that they're going to remove four vehicles and add two copy-paste vehicles. Well, let's go over the actual facts exactly what is happening. In an undisclosed period of time, longer than two weeks, the Panther II, the Flak Panzer 341 Kuline, the Tiger II 105, and the Mouse are going to be hidden from the German tree, meaning that people who do not already have them will not be able to get them. However, if you've only started researching them, you will still be able to keep them, which is different than how they usually do hidden vehicles where you have to have bought the vehicle outright. This time, all you have to do is start researching the vehicle. Two tanks will also be added to the German tree, the M48A2C and Ostwin II, and the M48A2GA2 will be moved into the heavy line and moved to rank six with a battle rating of 8.3, as well as given DM23, the same shell in the Leo A1A1. Now let's discuss these changes, starting with the last one I talked about, the M48A2GA2 being moved to rank 6. The thing has no stabilizer. It's not going to be very good at 8.3. In the dev blog, it is indeed a dev blog, they say that it's going to be like the AMX30B2, which we all know is a very much loved tank among the game. People just can't stop playing it because it's so good without a stabilizer at high tier. The tank's gonna pretty much be dead. It's gonna be a trash bucket in the way to getting the KPZ-70. Luckily I already have that thing. Just imagine taking to 8.3, getting up tier to 9.3, unstabilized APDS. Because we all know that the APFSDS is going to be a last tier modification. Now let's talk about the uh, M48A2C. It's a copy paste of the A2GA2. And those aren't my words. It literally comes from the store tune dude. He calls them carbon copies. The other vehicle being added, the Ostwin 2, and no, not the German horse movie. Ich hab mein Pferde im dem Brück. Is I swear a giant meme and just Gaijin dunking on the entire player base. The reason they're getting rid of the Panther 2, Flak Panzer 341, and Tiger 105 is because they want to get fake paper tanks out of the game. However, they can't produce a photo of the Oswin 2. Now, of course, photos aren't the only way to prove that a vehicle once existed. And there are some documents saying that there was one prototype made. So yeah, I guess it does have more legitimacy to it than the Coline. But I have to ask, why are you replacing a obscure prototype spag that was probably never built with another obscure prototype spag that was probably never built? What's the point in the end? Yeah, the other one does have more legitimacy to it, but you know what has even more legitimacy to it? A German M42. And don't get me on, oh, it's a copy-paste, I want a new vehicle. Gaijin themselves, well, the store team dude, said that the Oswin 2 was a copy-paste. All they did was add another gun to it and get another crew member. But don't you worry, because you're going to have to grind it out and get all the modifications for it anyways. And if we're going to be okay with tanks that only have documents claiming that we're built, I have a few Japanese tanks that I would like to speak to you about, Gaijin. Besides the bizarre thought process Gaijin went through to add this thing, I have a feeling the tank will act a whole lot like the Coline, just less armor. But it has the same gun, so it's almost the same thing. Now, the tanks they're getting rid of. Honestly, I've been warning everybody for, I think, over a year now that Gaijin is planning to remove the Tiger II 105, then Panther II. So honestly, I'm surprised that they're finally doing it. The Coline being removed kind of came out of nowhere, but it's also kind of a paper tank. Well, it's a Panther body, and I believe the turret was only actually ever made in wood, so it's understandable. However, on the other hand, the mouse being removed is completely unacceptable. Gaijin's legit reason for removing the mouse is because it causes serious issues due to the impossibility of balancing it properly in the current gameplay situation. This line of logic is wrong on so many reasons. First of all, just because something is bad doesn't mean it should be removed. Move it into your 4 and folder it with the Tiger 2. Problem solved. People don't have to grind through it to get to the later things. Or maybe just get rid of the arrow so they don't have to grind through it. And if we're going to be getting rid of bad tanks that don't fit the meta, what about the Object 268 or the AMX 50 Super Bias? On a thread on the forums discussing the matter of removing the tanks, the point is they're removing the vehicles not only because they are paper slash prototype, but also because they don't serve a purpose within the meta. If they remove more fake or prototype vehicles in the future, I'm sure they'll still be in the criteria. The store team do added to this saying, plus we have something 
appropriate to replace them with. But they're not replacing the mouse with anything. Or they're not replacing the Tiger 105 with anything. They're only adding one medium tank. They're not replacing the Panther 2 with anything. On top of that, you know, I could think of some proper replacement vehicles for the other ones I named. The Object 268, which I guarantee was only added to halter people to get into the IT-1. You could replace it with the BRDM-2 with Malyaka ATGMs. There you go, Yajin. Now you just gotta go make the vehicle. Although making things takes effort, so let's just replace it with something copy-paste. There are a lot of vehicles in game that don't fit the meta. Why aren't these also being removed? The most insulting part of this whole ordeal is that they would want to make it a rare event vehicle so it could be sold in the market for 300 million gaijin coins. And I have a disturbing feeling that that's where the thought process began. Despite the tank being bad, I don't think gaijin understands why people like it so much. It's not because it's a super mega good tank, it's because it's a meme tank. It's massive and stupid. The concept around it me, Mr. H, thought that making the biggest tank would win the war, but that's obviously not going to do it. Luckily, I'm not alone in my disgust on Gaijin's decision. Mr. Steve Gamer had started a change.org petition, which normally do nothing at all. However, in the past, Gaijin has responded to community backlash before. And currently, of this recording, there is 49,000 people playing the game. Basically 50,000. I feel if we get 10,000 people to sign this petition, one-fifth of the active players player base. You guys just would at least have to respond, and we wouldn't have to even spam some sort of hashtag on every live stream Gaijin does. There'll be a link down below if you're interested in that. It's kind of funny, a little bug, uh, people were upset with Gaijin because of various bugs in the game that hadn't been addressed. Now Gaijin responds with, you know, we will improve the game by removing four vehicles and only replacing two of them. And this is all that the German tree is going to get via tanks this patch. That was confirmed by the store team dude, which makes me think that this patch is going to be more focused around aircraft, probably some stuff to oppose the T2, maybe even beyond, and also British helicopters which were announced like yesterday or something. I think that's all I have to say on this subject. Gaijin once again making a bad decision, hopefully they'll revert it. If you get any comments or concerns or want to hit me up, you can do so on my Discord, there should be a link in the description. If you want to see more of these videos, I make random videos really whenever, I make War Thunder Weekly news videos every Sunday, I make streams on Saturday, and I like to stream XCOM on Twitch, so be sure to follow me there as well. And if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you didn't like the video, don't hit the like button. This outro is completely out of order. But if you want to support the channel, you can hit that join button for $5 a month, and you can get some early uploads. In the terms of bonus news, when this video goes up, I should be streaming XCOM on Twitch. Also, the spaghetti event tank is awesome.